Hello guys. So, uh, I'm going to show you how to create a very very simple uh, exchanger. Um, yes, I know you can go on the internet and find an exchange, a currency exchanger, and you know you can you type the value in of however much you want to convert. Uh, to a particular currency uh, and it does it all for you but the difference is is that not all currency converters that are online have all of the values for other currencies for example cryptocurrencies for which there are a lot of cryptocurrencies <coughs> um, floating around and not all of them are supported uh, and if you want to find out how much um, you would get for how much money you would put in um, this is really quite simple it's really lightweight and it's easy to make uh, I'll show you the code oh, phone's going off. I'll show you the code because um, it just means that if you want to make it you know it's there done uh, but if you want me to show you how to make it um, and so you understand how it works then I'm going to do that so this is literally all the code it is which is run when the button is pressed only so basically we have here a decimal of money uh, which equals convert to decimal, decimal blah 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 decimal exchange and then we have the actual uh, conversion uh, here and then uh, it, the value of this is converted into a string and put in here and then the text box will uh, uh, show whatever is in the variable so it's really really simple uh, I'll show you how to make it so I'll get rid of these and I'll show you right from the start so new project we want windows forms apps in the C sharp folder uh, the C sharp section should I say uh, windows form application and we will call it uh, Oops, exchange and okay. You will be presented with this window. So <coughs> we now need four items, so we need a button. And we will just place that right here. Well, we need more than four things actually, we need other things too. So, um, in programming, it is always good practice to name your things appropriately. So, for example, this button here, uh, in the text section, we will call it change, exclamation mark, uh, and in the name section is where we need to name it appropriately so instead of having button 1 which is not very descriptive of what the button will do we will name it button but btn and then we're going to call it button exchange enter right that's that so now we need text boxes are here we need three of these this one will be where you put your money so this one we will call txt what should we call it txt uh, I don't know USD so USD currency 
uh, which will make life easier if you do it in USD uh, because it seems that uh, when you buy uh, cryptocurrencies the uh, the exchange rate is of uh, USD equivalent uh, so it's just easier to do it like this so we'll call this text USD, it's the text box USD and, uh, and another text box and this will be the um, the exchange rate so um, txt text box exchange rate okay and then we'll have our last text box where is it and this will be our results box txt well it's actually supposed to be txt box but txt port. and also we should make this a read only box so that there we go. So you don't edit it by mistake or time type in it. Uh, cool. And now we need some labels. So in this label, uh, we won't rename these because we don't really need to. Uh, it's only exemplary. I mean, but in good practice, you should do that. Uh, but in here, we're going to put um, uh, to x change USD. Enter. And then we get another label. In this one, we're going to put oops, exchange rate. And here we'll have another label called res. Oh, oh dear. There we go, sorted. We're going to call this one support semicolon, colon, I mean, result. So, now when you've done this, if you go back to your exchange button and double click it, it will put this line of code into the uh, code section. Now this is a private void um, this is the private section which means anything that is uh, sorry so this means that um, when the button exchange is clicked anything in between these two uh, brackets will be run. What we need to do is we need to put in here our code. So firstly we're going to start with decimal this means that the variable that we are creating is of decimal format we use decimal format because um, we use decimal places so it is of decimal and the variable we will call it we'll call the variable money And what does this variable do? Well, this variable will convert the uh, money text box.
So money equals convert so convert dot to decimal open brackets what are we converting we're converting txt usd and whatever we put in there will be converted into a decimal and put into the variable money next line now we need to convert the uh, exchange rate box so again decimal and we're going to call the variable exchange and what does the exchange variable hold well it can hold the conversion to decimal exchange rate we have to convert the uh, boxes to decimal because they are text they are string uh, format they're in string format when you type it's a string format so we need to convert that string the numbers uh, into uh, an, uh, a decimal format, uh, which is why we have to convert. Uh, and then, what we're going to do is we're going to. Now that we have the two variables, we need to. Uh, well, we need to do the conversion. So, what we're going to do is create a variable which will hold this conversion. So this variable we will call it. Uh, conversion okay and what does the variable conversion do well it converts these two guys money and exchange so we will do the math so we will have money okay divided by the exchange rate and that is it so we're going to divide the money which is in decimal format with the exchange which is in decimal format and the value of this mathematical equation will be put into conversion but because conversion is also in decimal format we now need to return it back into a string because uh, we want to put that string value into the text box so we can see it so or the results text box so we can see it so what we're going to do is make another variable hold on a second conversion or con conv to string which equals convert dot to string what are we going to convert to the string the conversion Now that we've converted the uh, <coughs> the conversion decimal into a string, it's in text format, so we can put it back into the results text box. So, or well, put it into the results text box. So, then we just call uh, the, the the text box results results text box. Uh, txt result and it equals the value of conversion to string might I add I forgot something I must I must put dot text 
at the end of this and at the end of this one here too I sincerely apologise I made a mistake there so decimal money equals convert to decimal the text box USD and it's in text format so it knows that it's in text format and it's of this box here that we're calling and we're going to convert it into a decimal and we are going to store it into money see if you read it backwards it kind of makes sense doesn't it so we are entering text into the text box exchange rate and we're going to convert it into a decimal and we're going to store it in the variable exchange which is a decimal format and then we're going to do this exchange here so money divided by exchange equals whatever that value is and whatever that value is will be stored into conversion then we're going to again convert the string uh, convert the variable conversion which is got decimals in it uh, into a string so we're going to have conversion converted into a string and stored in this variable here convert to string and then the results box will show whatever is inside that variable there we go that should also have dot text at the end because that is a text box right so now we should be able to run this okay so we are presented with this little box here and let's I don't know let's go for the data calling which is the exchange rate of that is um, floating around 0 0.13 six cents so it's extremely cheap for a coin and the dollar is I don't know 400 let's see what the result is so for four hundred dollars you will get two thousand nine hundred and forty one tokens you can try it out you can type anything in there Too bad. It's not too shabby. Uh, just try not. Just just don't type any like letters in here because there's no validation, um, and you won't get a very good answer. Here you will get an exception. So. So now. Now that um, you have this, and it's done it's saved you can export it into exe so to do that you go into your visual studio projects folder and you find the uh, folder that you just well project that you just made you go into this folder here and then you go into bin debug and here it is so you can copy this oh some music there and paste it here and we can run it from here ninety seven cool and that's pretty much it so It's really, 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 really simple, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you would like me to um, make any other program in uh, C Sharp, then do let me know. Uh, be quite interested to hear your results, and uh, I hope that uh, this was interesting for you and uh, sort of educational. Yeah, thanks, guys.